Okay, welcome to Captive. I'm Steph Matthews, the director. I'm Luke Chapman, the light and sound operative. And I'm Adam Maidman, I'm the producer of the film. I'm Martin James Keegan, director of photography and assistant editor. And this is Victoria Pendlebury, uh, the editor, so she's the boss. I am the boss. So here we go, here's our opening shot. Do you want to explain the lights and stuff on that? Um, well, basically on this scene, we um, had to experiment using the different lights that we had. Um, using the visors on them to do open and shut techniques to make it look like doors were opening or um, there was corridor lights outside. This was literally me just stood on top of a chair holding it high above my head. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you'll agree it does look okay. We had some sound effects that imported in, like when she's munching on the apple. And the scream in the background. Yeah, we all like that. Sets off a good we? tone to the start of the film. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is scene two and the sound for this was really bad because of the track and I don't know if you can see but the camera is bouncing up and down on the track so we've had to delete the whole of the audio dub in our footsteps and um, put their voices over the top which we had to do in an audio base yeah, it was difficult to shoot we had problems with the track as well and Martin's put this, these graphics over the top I know, proud of my work under strict instructions <laughs> from me <laughs> Well, some of my work. Yeah. So that's Andy and Gary, that's Dr Richmond and Dr Bates, that's the first time you're introduced to them. So the whole time you're not really going to see their identities because they're hidden. We filmed this quite a lot, didn't we, because mm. we couldn't get Andy originally and I had to step in as his foot double. <laughs> yeah, there was... He turned up in the end, so we yeah. got to use him. Yeah, again. It's the interrogation scene, yeah. isn't it? Not a lot of lighting to do for being here, however... I like we, that we did, we did monitor... This which the, the death stare shot. Sorry, go on. No, which, which kind of lighting would best suit um, an interrogation set up? Like, we didn't want it too bright or too dark, or which, is... which best show an Agatha's look of death, which is <laughs> we, we like to talk about. This scene didn't need that much, but we've desaturated it, haven't we? Because the walls were quite orange. Desaturated the whole film to make it match. Yeah, yeah. We had like some scenes were like a certain colour and a certain brightness, and other scenes were different. So to make them all match, we we desaturated. We did oh, colour yeah. correct it first. We did, yeah, we way. corrected everything. So and then we desaturated it so it kind of looked like the same place because it's not necessarily mm. in the same place. So, so it looks more grimy really because it looked very pretty before. Yeah. Here comes the the death stare. Boom. Boom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all love that shot. We went there. Yeah. She's she's not a happy chappy, is she? This is a flashback. In this particular scene, Nagato is. Um, put to sleep. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> a needle. And I have a phobia of needles. Has a needle phobia. <laughs> so this was a bad day for him. Yet again, I'm stood in the corner with a light above my head. This is um, this is good. This, we were really impressed, weren't you? Yeah. We had to um, warn neighbouring officers yeah. about, about the... Uh, <laughs> no one was getting murdered. In yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were loving it though, weren't they? They yeah. were part of a film set. <laughs> this scene styled us a little bit because um, we weren't expecting how loud she was going to be. Yeah, it was quite difficult with yeah. the audio levels. We got there in the end, though. Yeah. So that's the establishing shot of the building that we were filming in. So this one of the, the first shots, that. wasn't it? This we sped up quite a lot, so the clouds moved quite quick and the tree. There's a bit of bird there as well flying around. <laughs> I had to stand actually facing Agatha in this scene. It was, it's more scary than it looks, to be honest. <laughs> Especially we, we really when she's, like this, she's staring right at me and screaming at me. <laughs> and I'm just trying to hold the light and not move at all. Yeah, this shot was only three angles, wasn't it? Yeah, it's only three angles, but we changed the angles quite a lot. Mm. It's just getting it so it's not obvious we've cut lots out. And then we've uh, dubbed in Steph and Martin's voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steph sounds like a bloke and I sound like a moron. Uh, and <laughs> Steph and Martin's <laughs> voice always come in. <laughs> The only ghost I've change. ever heard from Wigan, anyway. Yeah, I love how you can't <laughs> get rid of his accent. Well, you can tell it to me. You need to escape Greg's. Well, we did you need to we escape. <laughs> in post production, anyway, so. It's the best we could do. I could probably recite this word for word. <laughs> no, we've listened to this so much. So, this was all done in um, the ward in Bolton Hospital and because we had to put bin bags over all the windows to block out the light from outside, we couldn't obviously have the windows open because it would blow everything everywhere. So it was literally like 
sweat so, marks. Uh, there was no air yeah. in this room at all. And yeah, like dying the, at the especially end with of the lights day. on, yeah, it was so intense. But We needed therapy afterwards. <laughs> I'm still going on with mine, done about yours. Oh. oh, when we were editing scene five where she was screaming, that came into my dreams. So. She's a very good actress, isn't she? Yeah. This scene is finished now. In this scene, Gary's <laughs> actually just emerged from my little lighting cupboard. <laughs> we did that a little bit on a track as well, didn't we? Yeah. They kind of part improvised this, didn't they? We yeah, they did really well on this bit. To, um, we let them just have a fight. A few of the earlier takes look like, ball like ballet dancing. Yeah. yeah. I think the actors this was, acknowledged um, that. This was difficult because yeah. when she ran out of the room and into the corridor, the we used locked. all different locations to do it and then had to match them together. <laughs> so we had to try and think about which way the doors would open. It sounds really simple, but it was actually quite difficult when you when it comes down to it. And then here okay. we've put her close up over the top of the sound for the long shot. So getting that in the right place was very difficult. Nicely lit this, thanks to the sun. <laughs> yeah, not thanks to Luke. Well, it looks good, so. It's this next cut I really like. Yeah, this is really works well, doesn't well. it? Yeah, because you can. It works because she's moving. So and then we've had to dub in the voices over the top from the audio booths because obviously Andy and Gary weren't there on the day. I was stood behind them doors reading the lines out. <laughs> That's what I tended to do. <laughs> quite the, a bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favourite Scooby Doo moment of the film. Oh no, I hate this bit. Yeah. This is the worst. Da -da 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 -da. Bit for me. I just find it so cringeworthy. I like that close-up. That's a good close-up. That's a really good shot. Da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it's really good. 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 Yeah, which is sort of trying to show. I that don't think I could watch this all scene these things. In the dark. No. We did so many versions of that. Like we did, the editors yeah. will talk about that, but yeah. This now is like one of the last scenes, and it was a lot longer in the beginning. It had them just talking, and it was very monotonous, and it was based like more around the medical side of it. And we decided we didn't want that. We wanted her to hear specific things that gave away the story, but not so that the audience got bored, so we put an effect on the voice and like, echoed it, so when she blinks, obviously going into un unconsciousness, it all goes a bit strange. I really like this, this shot. We tried multiple versions of that as well, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. With the, we had the camera resting through, the, see the bars there on the bed, and had her head slightly to the right so that the camera was resting on the pillow, and then told the actors to look straight directly into the lens as if it was her face. And the outer focus was done there on the day, that wasn't done in post-production. No, I remember um, I said to Steph, I can blur it if you want. And she goes, oh, really? <laughs> so I did. That's actually Vicky in the bed, by the way. Doing, <laughs> doing well there, Vic. Yeah, body double. So. Nearly as good as Luke's. But. We really like this scene for the powerful effect it gives because mm. it's out of focus, she's blinking, the voices are strange and distorted. And we tried to distort it with every time it repeats. And then, like, obviously it's triggered something to have this flashback, hence why it faded to white. And then no, we've got the final um, scene, which just wraps it all up and makes it make sense and we decided to put the credits over the top <laughs> on that folks and there'll be sure a what? scene with the brother on there won't there yeah this I think will be the this is a phone call. Call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my voiceover if you can't already tell then <laughs> we've we all had a couple of different endings for the um for the film oh there's my name we had them both walking down the corridor discussing things further and stuff but yeah um that was cut in the end, so we've got that on like. We also had this extra. phone call and just a black screen, didn't we? Yeah. And then, then the credits. But. Yeah, but they sort of worked better over the credits, so. It's yeah. a bit different. That's that was captive. Is. So, there you go. Thanks, guys! <laughs> Bye! Yeah, thanks for listening. See um, you later. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.